مسألة Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of Dialogue Horizon. Uh, this episode definitely to be a continuation to the extraordinary episode which we held on Tuesday at the onset or before the convening of the uh, conference of, of the EGAD in Khartoum for the for first time maybe after three years. Uh, now, uh, this is a continuation because after the deliberations, and the final communique, uh, then we can talk about the outcome of the meetings, which ended on Thursday. Uh, that's why I'm happy we, 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 we to host one of the experts. He used to be one of the uh, consultant experts of EGAD itself for about three or four years. Uh, he's our friend, Dr. Yasser al -Ibed. Yasser al originally basically is an economist, but also he is a contributor in, in, in different organizations, especially in the African area and is in particular area, the EGAD area. And so he knows he is well informed about uh, what we are going to ask him. Thank you and welcome, Dr. Yasser al -Ibid. Thank you very much, Mr. Nero Haraz, and my regards to all uh, the Horizon team and my regards to also the TV uh, viewers. Thank you very much. Okay. The first, let us start by, by, by the most important issue or uh, discussed in the meetings, which concerns Sudan, only concerns Sudan, which is the suspension of the membership of Sudan in the African Union after the 25th of October uh, coup. Uh, the African Union decided to suspend the, 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 the membership of Sudan and consequently Mr. American President Biden, uh, he exempted, he did not invite three, four countries, one of which is Sudan, yes. Sudan, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. Okay, yes. These are because they, they had the military coups, cool. though they were, uh, membership was suspended uh, after, after, after Sudan, or maybe before Sudan, but mm, consequently the American President uh, did not invite uh, uh, Sudan and the other three countries to the meeting which will ha be held next month in America about the African African issues, which is something is something bad to us. So I said I, 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 we heard that when one of the recommendations of EGAD is to ask the the African Union to reinstate Sudan's membership in in, in uh, African Union. Although I noticed something which is very weird, because they said after sending a fact-finding mission, they are aiding the African Union to send a fact-finding mission to Sudan, upon which uh, deliberations and, and, and remarks, the African Union can either uh, reinstate uh, uh, Sudan's membership or keep it suspended. So to what extent do you think this recommendation or this part of the deliberations the, 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 the of the EGAD will be, will it have any effect on the African Union? Will it come to a positive result to Sudan? Thank you very much, Mr. Baharaz. I think so, uh, EGAD, uh, since it's been formed since 1986 and being changed to, from the drought and uh, desert creeks to developments, it's been changed in 1996. It became to change the, all the, the mandate of it. So Sudan is one of the important area, important members in the EGAD, one of the founders. And Sudan is located in a very important uh, location in, uh, in this African horn and, and part of, the, of EGAD countries. And I do know, as, you, as we know, uh, EGAD is uh, conglomerates one of the important uh, body in, in East Africa and the uh, and, uh, African Horn. And Sudan, one of the active uh, members uh, in, the, in this uh, conglomerate um, uh, body. 
So that um, from long time, Sudan is trying to contribute in most of the problem in, in the region of Africa and uh, African, uh, East African countries, especially EGAT country, since the drought, since the desert creep, uh, creep they, since even the developments are, are, are now we have even the forms of, of uh, the form of the last uh, summit in, uh, in Sudan. It came in very significant time because of the, as we know, after the war in, uh, in uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine. Uh, since that time, there is two issues, and one important issue, the food and security and the energy in that areas is be, has been come like that in, uh, and reflected to the African countries, especially the, the food uh, issue. Mm -hmm. So that can play a very, very important role in that. And uh, as you know, Sudan has been suspended from African Union and a long time since the 25th of, uh, as you mentioned, 25th of October, uh, because <coughs> of uh, the, maybe the Americans say that is a cope of uh, the, the military uh, component. Uh, they suspend so a lot of aid, a lot of uh, money should come to Sudan and finance, uh, and part of it uh, being suspend the uh, uh, African Union suspend the membership of Sudan. As you know, as you mentioned, that the message came from uh, United States American uh, President for that uh, African American summit. Sudan is being suspended also with one of the four countries, uh, as you mentioned, also Sudan and Burkina Faso and. Uh, and Guinea <coughs> and uh, Mali because of the coup which has been held there in that last uh, years. Uh, so that tried to come back to Africa you know, because one of the one of the important founder, one of the important key in African Union, one of the important uh, uh, member in African Union, he, the, he has, uh, has to come back to African Union. He got one of the uh, one of the bodies which can support Sudan because two three will, will it have an effect because because you know the charter of the African Union is very clear in this matter very clear it's, it's extremely difficult for other country to especially they have other three other countries so do you think that the, the Sudan can get the acceptance? charter is so clear but the coup in Sudan maybe is a little bit different than the coup maybe in in in, the, in Burkina Faso and in Mali that is a full coup. Mm -hmm. uh, here maybe something different. They want just to try just uh, take over of the of the regime. Something like uh, different than the coup. And American they mentioned that this is first time they said this is uh, take take over of the of the of the power uh, because they, the the civilian component is became split from the government has been. Uh, taken away, taken away from the from the regime. This may be the difference here, and maybe they can try to get any any type of uh, uh, interference in that uh, uh, through the the chapters that they can suspend any country uh, held the coup or taking over the whatever sh the, the way of taking over the, the the power. It may be by coup or by. Uh, other, uh, so that this is why the the, the American they refused to come uh, to needing they, they didn't uh, the president of uh, of America didn't send the invitation to. Now what uh, about, uh, what about the African Union? Now the issue is very the issue is to waive or to reinstate the membership of Sudan after being suspended. Do you think the the request or the request of the EGAD? Will it put some pressure on the African Union and they 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 they, they back down from there? They might back should, down because of back down. because of that uh, Department of uh, Conflict and Peace. They have tried to study the matter. So, so how come Sudan come back to that? Uh, they've started how to take to get a chance that to at least to to susp to, to at least to release the suspension for uh, maybe maybe by 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 terms and condition maybe can do that so that Sudan can just run after they may, they, 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 they might with with some maybe with terms and condition because this is clear I agree with you I agree because those who are happy with the decision to me the decision is it, it, it's conditional it's not a pressure they ask they are asking EGAD is asking the African Union to send a fact-finding mission which is something it takes time and this fact-finding mission come and to check and see what we have, what's happening in Sudan and then submit a report and this will take maybe a year to, to, to come to a decision maybe by that time other developments in Sudan might re reverse the whole situation
I think so the whole of, of uh, maybe because as we know that EGAD is one of the conglomerates uh, important one in, in the in the African Union African Union and in the East Africa and important in even now Sudan they're in need of Sudan because of food uh, issue. Sudan can do something uh, for all the whole African country because the whole mo as we know that more, most of the Af most of the world now is being affected by the food uh, security and shortage. Sudan can play a good role in the world and I was being mentioned by the uh, uh, Mr. Kotresh, that for the United Nations taking about Sudan and, and Canada and Australia, they can they can they can just fill the space of Ukraine at this time and the space of the of of Russia for food. So Sudan can do very something very good on that, and they can if he has as you know that he has more than two billion. Uh, for that, that uh, is ready for agriculture, has a lot of plenty of water, has a lot of resources, can do something for shortage food in, in Africa. This is why now EGAT group, they want to pressurize uh, African Union, at least they can do something on that. They can just release the, the suspension of Sudan at this time and they can just maybe they can uh, EGAT, they can, it's because Sudan, they, because African Union needs Sudan and the world even needs Sudan because as we know, uh, the shortage of the food around the world uh, it is really something very serious and the whole of the world now is in, in problem now because of the shortage of the food and, and even because of the security in the area as we know that he got uh, located in a very sensitive area in the world that that region of African uh, Horn of Africa so as we know that the passing of 26 uh, maybe 26 percent of the oil of the world going through that area of EGAT countries, and as we know that 4,000 ships, uh, commercially, military, and uh, tourism, passing also that, that area. That is something very sensitive, uh, and, and, and those countries, they should make pressurize for this, all this uh, military base there. As you know, that they have maybe more than 20, 25 or 24 base, uh, uh, military bases there. So that is sensitive area, and we know the area is, is really is crowded with problems because there's the pirates there. So, uh, to, to, to Inge, Dr. Rath, we will come to this later. This is a very important issue. But we are now, now we are talking about just the possibility of responding positively to the EGAD request. So we are saying that it could be, maybe, maybe but it might take time, or maybe they put some... Some because of the role of Sudan at this time, the role of Sudan can be very positive at the, uh, the next years, maybe, regarding security and regarding the, the, the potential of Sudan. The potential of Sudan and the resources in Sudan is really the, uh, the okay. world in need of that. Okay, okay. Now let us move to... to uh, so the conclusion is that the, the, the request of EGAD, it might take time because it's it might take time. It, it's conditional by the fact finding mission. Anyhow, <laughs> Dr. Yasser, EGAD mission and objectives is supported or uh, it rotates about three, 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 three main uh, orbits. The first orbit is, is, is the food security, as you are saying, food security and environmental protection. Environment protection, this is the food security, this is, what, this is, the, this is the number one pillar. The other is the peace and security of the region and human rights in the region. The third is integration, cooperation and integration in the different fields between the member countries. Now we have eight countries. As we mentioned, they are now after 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 uh, uh, secession of South Sudan, we have eight countries. Eight countries in EGAD. Food security and? Food security, we have the, the three pillars. We have, we have, we have the, 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 the food security, environment protection, and which is the drought and the desertification, this is environment, environmental or climatic change uh, mm -hmm. problems. Um, the other one is the peace and security and human rights. The third is, which is important, which is the integration, cooperation and integration between the countries, which some people are, we'll come to this question later, about some are calling for the uh, uh, granting the four freedoms, but we'll come later to this question. Let, let us talk about 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 this. What is your assessment to the to the to the to, to, the, to, the, to the failure or success of EGAD to achieve one or two or all of these objectives in in the since its uh, formation in nineteen? 96 
after after being in, uh, in drought and development and in, in 1986 but mm. let us talk about 1996 which changed in large the, the, the role of EGAD. can you evaluate how can you assess the success or failure of EGAD to address the issues here the three orbits around which it is rotating yes before it, it's true it was for it's been formed for uh, drought and uh, desert uh, creeps, and that one is really ch is, is finished as, as, a, as a mission. But now it came again also, as we know that still there is a lot of drought in, in this region, especially in Somalia, especially in part of Ethiopia, mm. because there's a lot of drought there, and that is really affected the, the agriculture, affected the animals, affected all the environment. And as we know Sudan at this time, as we know after the climate uh, uh, summit in, in Egypt, in Sharm el-Sheikh, that, that, that summit is really is, is send a lot of signals, so that uh, talking about Africa and uh, the climate change affecting so much Africa, so much change is affecting all the human uh, resources in Africa, and uh, he, uh, he is going to affect also within 20, maybe within five, six years, going to affect also the GDP, uh, the growth of the, of the, uh, of the production of, of, of the African countries, by maybe by 16 to 25 percent, and that one is really going to make a lot of decrease in the in the GDP of African countries. So the, the climate change is making so much problems. This is why it's been reflected to the, the, the main challenge for Africa also is, uh, is uh, beside, uh, Af uh, beside the climate change, the food security. So the food security, as you know, the initi initiative of the Arab countries of food security for Sudan, that, 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 is, being, uh, that is being developed so that it can, can cover the whole world. Sudan, as we know, that the, all the potential of Sudan can cover the whole security. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about your assessment to the, n not for the future, for what happened, what was the contribution we got in fulfilling one of the three uh, pillars. Maybe they, 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 they revolve in the conflicts. Because the Egad was right in the middle of the conflict of Sudan mm. uh, before, before, okay. uh, before the session of the South, because it was part in the Nivasha. Uh, CPA, yeah. Comprehensive Peace Agreement, and in Juba Agreement of October 2020, and uh, now they are brokering a settlement with 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 the in, in the tri uh, trilateral uh, mechanism. So, to what extent do you assess in the pil in the, in, the, in these three pillars? Destroyed Food security. I think they did not do much because they were busy. With, with the conflict there. The conflict. Yes, Robert, you mentioned that it's very important. Our CPA uh, is uh, EGAT was one of the biggest players in that. In mm -hmm. CPA, uh, Comprehensive Peace Agreement, is was of Nivasha, and be, uh, according to that, uh, as we know, that the session of Sudan is became real reality. So they have really contributed a lot on that. If we know that I was there at that time in, uh, in Kenya. And uh, we got countries, all of it, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, and Ethiopia, and Eritrea, and Djibouti. They have contributed, and they will became one of the biggest players at their time, uh, according to what uh, been uh, happened there. And even now, they have, as you know, that uh, one of the uh, of the me biggest members also in up with African Union and UNITAMS also trying to help the problems of the to try to solve the problem of the of the of the government of civilian government between the problem between the uh, military component and uh, and uh, civilian uh, component so that is part of the of the of the issue that and in the whole conflict in Africa uh, you know as you know this is one of the biggest uh, remaining problems in, in in Africa in all the whole continent most of the most of the most of the of the conflict in Africa has been now uh, finished. So my, since 2002, and now the, the one of the biggest problems, you know, I don't know that Tig Tigray problem and South Sudan problems and Tigray with the uh, central government and Eritrea with Ethiopia with Tigray and uh, Sudan with in Fashaga also still there is many conflict there and uh, between Somalia and Ogaden and uh, Ethiopia. So still there is a lot of huge of, of conflict. This is, this is the remaining conflict in all the continent of Africa. So they're still busy with that. So they, this is why the problem of, of uh, 
of uh, IGAT so facing so much uh, problem to solve the problem. Now it's trying to solve the problem of Sudan, at least to settle the government. That's, that's uh, as we know that the, the last summit, the last meeting in, uh, in Khartoum, tried to solve the, and, and another problem also in Ethiopia between Tigray and uh, central uh, government. And we still we are expecting another conflict. Maybe it's coming between Eritrea and uh, with Tigray and Tigray with Tigringa, those in, uh, in, in, in Ethiopia. In, in Eritrea. So that's still the problem flaming. So, so as if you are saying that he got, yes, he got he's crippled in, in achieving his whole three missions. It's only on the, because of the conflicts, the, it's true. the, 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 the recurring, recurring it's true. conflict. It's true. Recurrent pro problem. That's still, still there. They cannot and go to other, other things before. It is very difficult. As you know, you know, 2018, I was being one of the member, one of the, one of the experts in, in EGAD. So we, we are talking about uh, four freedoms, so the protocol of four freedoms and four missions, so like uh, 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 the right of uh, property, so how can you, the movement and like the four, what do you call it, the four? Four freedoms. Four freedoms, yeah. yeah. We have, we have, a, in, we'll we'll like later. us with Egypt. Uh, yeah. So that one is failed up to now and we have, uh, the Sudan and all the countries signed uh, the protocol and up to now it's became, it's, it's failed. in this field up to now, 2018 now, almost five years and they're still quarreling about the problem of movement of the people and the movement of the, of, of the, with, uh, with snow visas and whatever. So they have still Still uh, uh, having a problem. Another, another problem. Of course, you have now Sudan without without this f f freedom. Sudan is suffering from it's suffering the, so the much the from the refugees, the, the, the illegal from immigrants. Im illegal immigrants. So we have so suffering so much illegal immigrants. And uh, now, if you open it, then it's open. Going to be another. But this is why Sudan is, is is trying to to, to bend that uh, that issue. It's still bending with Sudan because Sudan is really. Uh, uh, it's been affected so much with these uh, Im illegal immigrants and illegal movements, and that problem also is of tourist problems and uh, and, uh, and money laundering there in that area and so much problems. And even the the, the, the refugees comes it became one of the uh, one of this one of one of the dangerous areas. So that almost the mafias they take most of the victims from that side. So they taking them and send them to to Europe and whatever. So that's a, the problem is is going to be to so we still going to move until I don't know where. And uh, the problem he got, uh, conglomerates, doesn't have an, 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 um, an, a vision, a proper vision, a proper plan, how to solve the problem with the plan. The problem, the, it needs a finance, sometimes with the European, European Union, sometimes with international finances, so sometimes with the African Union. So they have problem because there's still the problem with so much and huge of, of refugees in that area. Sudan, one of the biggest countries affected by these refugees. So that, it needs a lot of support. It needs a lot of support from NGOs, from international community. For, so the problem is still uh, Sudan and, and the rest of the so, so uh, I think I agree. I, countries. I, I, I think logically, the four freedoms can only work well and shine better between countries of similar or equal opportunities and chances in resources, in skills, in uh, technology. So there is exchange, but there is, is this like golf, Like Gulf uh, Council there. Uh, the Gulf Gulf, Council. Uh, yes, yeah, is, that's it, all it, of them there. It works well, yes. but it's country like the uh, Igad region, civil region, this is our, uh, there are very poor people, poorest people, if you open borders for them, it will, it will lead to a catastrophe. And you know the war in the this country. area is one of the toughest war, uh, war in, in Africa, like, like between Tigray and the central government. So, so how many victims, how many people are uh, uh, died there, how many people are suffering and left, uh, is being displaced and so much problems, you know. Even in Somalia, the same problem. Also, Somalia uh, conflict is even started almost more than 25 years. That's still the problem is there, so you can't uh, in snitch the problem from the from the daily activities. So Sudan is going to be a, is going to suffer from that uh, uh, for freedoms. No, no, it cannot be a logical. It's, very difficult. it's, it's very, difficult. Difficult. very difficult. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Unless you put the country both the balance, in, in yeah. the level balanced, they cannot. You cannot risk the only the, the, only, the only way or opening the freedom of work. Those who will come, there are some countries, very poor countries, they have skilled uh, labor. 
if they come like like, like country to Sudan yes. or from Sudan they go to with restricts or from with Sudan they come to North with Sudan. With restricts conditions, you know, you cannot leave them like that so they can you come out. So much problems, you know, I do know that it's a diseases and so much problems, a lot of people whom they don't have any awareness of uh, health and something like that. So they can come and affect so much problems, they can affect a lot of uh, uh, people here in our, in our country. So we need to, to have another vision so the international community should interfere. Europe, European Union can interfere, also can help a lot of, and they can make a, a projects there at least, projects and plan there. So they can uh, make a lot of projects in agriculture, in irrigation, in, uh, in fog. They can be, make manufacture, uh, manufacturers there. So the, otherwise, uh, like that, Sudan still ha also has its own problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem. Right. I don't think it, I do other economists one thing, if any government or any intergovernment like EGAD or any international, if they want to help a country like Sudan with full resources, just let them improve, help assist in improving the infrastructure, especially the transport, railway, roads, uh, river, ship, yes, ship, yes, shipping, yes. river, river uh, yes. transport. Yes. If, if they do that, Automatically, Sudan will be feeding these, these places. Just if they help us in improving the infrastructure, if we connect Sudan with a, a railway network covering the border, Sudan is sharing borders with eight countries. If you reach the border at any point to the other country, like for example, South Sudan. South Sudan needs about more than 100 of the commodities in Sudan. So it can, it, but, People and people in, in, in some areas of Sudan, they, they, they feed like mango in the Bujbeha and like tomato in the north, north of Sudan. Because of the lack of infrastructure and lack of markets, people, they, they just leave it, leave it in the, the, the streets and roads for the animals to eat it, which is... So as we know that we have a lot of uh, problem of, of our resources, which is even being produced like mango, as you mentioned, also is one of the biggest problems. So you can't export it, you can't take it to the, to the local market because of the transportation, because of infrastructure, because of a lot of problems, also because of the roads uh, problems. And in, from the other side also, from the other... and passing without any uh, benefits. Uh, they cannot benefit from that. They cannot get their interest. So they can make a terms of condition for this uh, military bases there, most all, almost more than maybe 200 or 200 uh, troops there at uh, that area. So the problem, they are just only waiting for them to, to come and talk about the, about the conflict, but no helps. There is no help. There is no any uh, aid. There is no any uh, financing these countries. So the, the problem even from these countries, they don't have their condition also to the others or the international community. So just leaving them and just uh, moving around without getting any benefit from, the, from their uh, basis there. Uh, so they have to look for a vision or uh, for, for a strategic uh, plan so they can talk with them seriously, they can hold a meeting or hold a conference between the, between the EGAD countries and between the international community whom they are basing there in that area from China, Russia, United States of America, uh, UK and France and German, all of them they have been there and they have been benefiting from that area, they are securing their goods moving up and down and even even here you know, even our, uh, in Red Sea also expecting a lot of uh, maybe competition there between the international community and international countries. So we have to look for how to get our resources because uh, yes. the problem is... Uh, oh, 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 Dr. Yasser, also Sudan, Sudan presented a paper for the food security. Uh, actually it was presented to the Ab Arab League and to the African now, EGAD, to the African, everybody knows that Sudan 
even the United Nations, they know this one is full of resources, it's true. natural resources, and still the potential for producing more is there. Because as you know, or what, as I know, the, the Sudan it has about 20, uh, 275 acres of arable land which can be cultivated. What is being utilized till this moment is about 44 million out of 275. And out of the 44, only 4 million acres are irrigated. The rest, the 40 million uh, rain-fed, which is very cheap, rain-fed is different. Only the, the, the irrigated area is the, the, in, the, in the middle is only 4 million acres. Uh, and that uh, 40, uh, 40 million, 44 million out of 275. Yeah. So there is a potential for for So Sudan presented a paper. To what extent do you think the EGAD can help Sudan? Because Sudan presented a paper. This is the the most it can do to present a paper. But to implement is a headache. It's a big problem because of finance and money. So do you think that EGAD can play any role in 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 in, in, in this area like? encouraging investors like uh, looking for for, for uh, donors or assistance or donors not feasible to have donors they cannot do that but what what do you think your your feeling about this paper presented by Sudan in both two important conferences the league uh, Arab League and in in uh, EGAD the same paper there is a logic in being presented in Arab League because of the finance there and the because of the lots of uh, money there. In as you know, there is a lot of surplus of money in in Arab League, especially in Gulf area and Gulf uh, countries. They have a lot of money they can source for Sudan and they can support themselves even. So they can help a lot of projects there and they can do a lot of investment in Sudan. Uh, as we know that Algeria summit also is been calling. Uh, most of the because of the mo most of the finance there in Arab League, especially in uh, in Gulf area, so they can come and invest in Sudan in agriculture, and uh, because of the potential, as you mentioned, only the being occupied for agriculture is only uh, being used only for uh, millions. That is uh, uh, very shameful, by the way. So at all with that, all that. Uh, I think so. Arab League, they can help Sudan and can help parts of Africa. And I'm, I don't, I'm not expecting uh, this this group of uh, EGAD, they can do something on that because most of them, they are poor countries. They are, they are busy with their conflict, with their problems, with internal problems, with political problems, with uh, another uh, uh, nature problems like uh, like the, this part of the environment, like climate change and the climate change and uh, and um, and the drought there in um, part of the these countries. Um, encouraging the the investors, maybe they can do something with if they are if they are serious. If they are serious, they can encourage like China. China, for example, China example, uh, they form that they want to make a lot um, a new union, uh, as you know, was supposed to be held on t uh, in June last uh, year, but up to now it is uh, still uh, nobody knows what is why it is being stopped. Uh, so they can they can talk with China. They can make just. Uh, uh, like uh, one collusion of, uh, of, of of projects, so they can do that one. Uh, they can make one one. They can make projects in the area, like 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 uh, right now we talk about the Fashaga between Ethiopia and Sudan and Eritrea. So this is a plenty water there, and we know that uh, Fashaga, one of the best area in 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 the world in agriculture, uh, and one of the the best way of uh, area. So because of the climate, because of the land, because of the soil, because of a lot of uh, potential there. So they can call at least a part of the of the international community like China, like uh, maybe uh, Ch uh, Arab League. Also, they can do something at Saudi Arabia. They can come and invest there, like uh, also uh, Tunisia. Uh, sorry, so like China, like India, and part of the emerging country like. Uh, the BRICS countries, uh, Brazilian, and Indian, and China. So they, maybe they can come and do something on that. Otherwise, he, he got themselves, uh, I know yeah, this is one, of, one of the poor, poorest countries in Africa. Yeah. They can't do something at that. Uh, at that. Uh, okay, Dr. Atir. Also, this reminds me of an important issue because the paper of Sudan, not only the food security, it also they included the roadmap that to improve the uh, way 
work of, of, of EGAD and to make some kind of uh, economic union like, like the uh, European Union and, and of course if you are talking about the union or integration uh, to make use of, of the different uh, varieties and the, 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 the diversity of the agriculture and uh, animal resources. Uh, China showed some interest in helping in the infrastructure but as, as, as a partner of course. So the paper of Sudan is conditional. It has to be supported by rich countries or rich companies. And it seems that China is, 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 is interested by at least doing one thing, improving the infrastructure, which will connect the different uh, eight countries of, of, of EGAD. Like, for example, infrastructure in ports in, in port Sudan. So many ports. Siobia is landlocked. Yeah. They have a problem, big problem. They, they import through Djibouti. But if they find another outlet through Sudan, uh, it will de definitely be very beneficial to them. Uh, other countries, if, if, if China works on the basis of partnership, no problem. To improve the infrastructure of each of the seven countries, then things will, 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 will be solved automatically. What do you think of this uh, paper sent by Sudan in enlarging the low role of, of, of EGAD? As you know, last, last year, uh, China envoy and China delegation came to, this, uh, to, Afri to East African countries and EGAD countries, so that they want to form a new union there uh, and want to do a lot of infrastructures, like making a lot of uh, roads and railways, between the between, uh, especially between the, um, the capitals of, of the EGAD countries, and going to do a lot of infrastructure there. They're going to do a lot of investment in, in, uh, in an EGAD country. But up to now, I don't know what's the problem, because as you know that since the 2008, uh, the financial crisis and the corona, um, uh, COVID-19, and now we are coming to uh, reach to conflict between uh, and the war between uh, Ukraine and Russia. So there's a lot of problem in, in international finance. A lot of problem, uh, as we talk about the rich countries, all that are busy with the end problem there. As you know, that there is a lot of problem of shortage of energy and shortage of food. So that's another problem. Also, most of them they are just busy of that, especially even the biggest countries in African, uh, in, in European Union, like uh, like UK, United Kingdom, like France, like Italy, like uh, German, uh, like the rest of the European uh, Union, they have a lot of problems. So we have a lot of problems at this time uh, through the world, so in even in Wall Street, also in, in finance. So there are a lot of problems. We don't, we don't expect that a lot of money can come there. Maybe, maybe direct investment, maybe it, might, it can come. Maybe direct investment, they allow it being allowed because you're still having so much problems with the international community in America with, with, with its actions and uh, embargo. So that is a lot of problems. As we know, the, even our finance institutions still under that embargo and that, in, that, that uh, instruction. So we can't just go and move like that to the international uh, finance. We have to look for at least to encourage our, our internal business, uh, our inter uh, private sector, or in we encourage even our local for all the region so they can come and make at least uh, integration and make uh, projects there, integrated pro uh, projects. They can do something on that. That is an issue also because mobilization of the money at this time, it should come internally. It will be, it make a lot of, uh, a lot of because we, most of this, countries they're having a lot of immigrant money outside in maybe in united states in europe in europe in whatever so they can't come they have to come and call that money to come to be invested in sudan in ethiopia in um, and uh, in eritrea and if if there is stability so the stabilization of the of this country and the war and the conflict so that one of the issues should come uh, at least they can speak about that and security is very important for the investment and um, the conflict, if it's not going to stop, and the stabilization is still political stabilization and, and uh, security stabilization, it's going to face a lot of problems. So we have to look for a solution so we can do something on that. Uh, mobilize at least the local uh, private sectors in, in this country, especially in Sudan. As we know, Sudan, more than 30 or 35 billion US dollars is being immigrated outside, is being escaped outside, is being smuggled outside, and a lot of, a lot of gold now being stored in Sudan. So this is a huge of money, maybe can be increased to 50 to 60 billion US dollars. That is more than enough for Sudan. If it's, if we, if 
if we encourage our private sector and our my, and our businessmen so they can do something and the and the local companies so it's better we depend on that uh, according to me uh, the international community it cannot help uh, it cannot help. It, i don't think okay okay well, i'm not uh, expecting that by the way okay well, well, one, of, one of the points of the paper presented by sudan there is a, a, a controversial issue of sudan is uh, proposing that the, the, the GATT countries should outsource, should uh, do something un, not traditional by leaning to the West, by, 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 by expanding the relations with China and Russia, the, the East Bloc, the, the, the rich the, the China and the Gulf uh, countries. Some people, they think this will make some, it will, make, it will balance the, the situation between uh, European, American, European countries and between the East. Others, they believe that this will, 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 will backfire. It will backfire and both they will refrain from <laughs> helping. So what, 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 what solution? Uh, is, it, is it wise to, 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 to go to try to shoot around uh, the two, two enemies or to lean on one enemy uh, or on uh, as a friend? Yeah, to, uh, uh, what do you think? Some people, they think this, this will make a balance and it will, it will make some kind of rivalry between the countries. This is, this is another this is an, an issue which can be accepted. Others, they say, no, it will aggravate the situation because both sides will refrain from helping. Exactly this is what has been done in Sudan for 30 years. 30 years, Sudan, if not for the oil export, Sudan could have collapsed um, since long time cool. because Sudan is trying always trying to stay in the gray area the government of Sudan during the Inghaz, their uh, salvation regime it was trying to stay in the gray area between two conflicting and two warring factions the East Bloc Russia China and America they failed to get a real a real bite of, of the help of, 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 of the, either the East or the North uh, the, the, the West so the same thing, the proposal is, is, is carrying the same idea of okay. staying in the great area. We, as an economist and an expert to EGAD, what, what policy shall, shall, shall the EGAD take? As you know, Mr. Haraz, international relations doesn't know the emotions. knows only the benefits, where you get your benefits with them. Mm -hmm. So as we know, well, the United States of America is the gate of the whole world. So, so if it is accepted you, is the whole world can accept you. Uh, especially in finance, uh, finance, financial uh, ways. Uh, as you know, the, 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 the East, maybe like China, like India, like Russia, also they are working with you without any terms and conditions. So they can just help and they can uh, invest and can, without condition, only win-win. That, and that is important now, as all African Union, they like that type of uh, relation uh, with, with the world. But the relation with the with, with Samsung condition, it's really affected uh, so much uh, uh, governments and economics in Africa. So we have to look for our benefit, where we can get the benefit, where we can go our interest. Who is going to give us and who is going to solve our problem without Samsung condition? We, with, uh, with, uh, with that rule of win-win, we are expecting that. Uh, it's not a matter of gray way or gray area, but the way of who is going to help, who is going to do something, who is going to build. And we have to be very careful on that, and we have to be very uh, too much no, or not like uh, before. So we, 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 we sometimes we held meetings and we, we discuss with others, international committee and with, with international finance uh, institution, but we don't know our benefit, we don't know the problem, we know the, the risk of the finance itself. Sometimes you can get a lot of risk, a lot of uh, problems, a lot of tricks in that risk according to the, the agreement, according to contracts. So we have to be also careful and we have to be very, work, uh, we have to be also so we know uh, our our benefit from our from the other side, and we have to be careful that because we are uh, we work with win-win, uh, like uh, China before China, Canada and uh, India and Malaysia also they have yes as you know they explored the oil in Sudan. We expect even a lot of uh, and now like yeah, Southern Sudan is one of the members in IGAD. So we can at least we should can find one of the biggest countries. Even United States of America, they can just go come and invest in the oil sector in uh, in, in in that area like Al Ruhda, 
uh, field there also we can, we can they can work with there they can explore again they can just try to solve the problem of piping and for the for those um, areas of the of the oil so uh, if america is ready to come you can you can we can call back also a canadian company can come back and rest of the company like france uh, have a lot of uh, companies and most of this uh, they can uh, okay we, we have we have because maybe we'll, uh, we have we have have still some few few questions that we have uh, maybe we will reach our short of time one of the one of the important issues of egad is uh, now they are talking to, talking to, talking about freedom of movement of people yes. although one of the problems of sudan especially sudan is the trafficking of human beings to europe which is causing a lot of trouble to to sudan it's bringing weapons uh, illegal illegally it, it, it's a headache now to to to, to, to sudan that uh, he, he got did not did not address this issue although the europeans they are trying to help and they paid a lot of money for to sudan to stop the illegal immigration so what what how can he got play a role in this in this this area Nick, which is it contradicts its of, uh, objective of the freedom of people between 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 countries sudan will be hard hit by a decision like this already sudan is in trouble of the illegal trafficking of of human beings so if they if they got uh, recommends freedom of movement of people it will be a, a disaster to them so what, what, what do you think what so can there is, that, there is that main, do? main pillars on that of how to, to how to fight uh, to fight the uh, human trafficking and the uh, tourism and the problem of illegal immigration and uh, as we know that the protocol of EGAD, I was being part of that in uh, expat 19, uh, 2018-2019 and we are in need of uh, we are in need of, of, of that so like a uh, rapid support force was trying to to fight around the uh, around the Sudan from the desert from uh, the border of Libya the border of Chad the border of Ethiopia so we, I, they have to form at least a military form just only fighting that type of uh, illegal traffic and illegal uh, immigration like even as I mentioned uh, uh, those those type of troops it's really part of this is one of the good example in Africa also if they have the same so they can do something on that is uh, as you know that this is one of the biggest uh, challenge in the area uh, and uh, and this type of troops are uh, uh, rabbit support force uh, troops they can do something and even they can form that one and uh, they have to have uh, in fact that we need also training and capacity buildings for this e for that area so how to train the people how to train the troops even how to deal with the, with the victims how to deal with the with the, with the mafia themselves even how to treat with uh, so with the, even the, the judges the, the police and the security force and the, and the whole this even the victim themselves they need to have to they have to, because they have so much problems with that mafia they, when they take them around uh, the seas and whatever take them to Europe so we need we need at least uh, to form at, at least uh, uh, something like one body for whole African, uh, all Igad, not, only Igad. not um, and now in Igad because the one of the biggest area, one of the, the biggest uh, is is Igad, Igad area. This is why they try to 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 to, to, to sign that protocol of uh, of movement for movement, but it's failed. Up to now, it's not been uh, in place. So we have no, to. No, it cannot. It, it, can, cannot, it cannot be done. Yeah, uh, because of the uh, because of unsta instability in the area. So that's an, another issue also. That mm. the big problem also, and they have to come and to solve the problem and uh, security problem between the borders. Even there is a lot of problems also between in the borders there between the troops themselves even. Okay, uh, and maybe maybe the last question is uh, something uh, the Sudan also in last uh, year to consider the Arabic language as one of the recognized languages in in, in the, the the recommendation um, uh, is called for 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 uh, granting or giving some uh, scholarship or to to some African student in the. African, African University. University. Is, 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 it, is it capable of doing that? Is it rich? Why, 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 why they, they, they talk about uh, Africa University? And you are As you know, the language is one of the biggest problems. Like, like East African uh, community, uh, that is between uh, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. The, 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 the good of that, uh, that uh, community, East, uh, East African community uh, body, it has been formed for a long time, maybe almost no more than 30 or 35 years, and there is a stability between the three countries. 
and uh, without visas with one so without uh, with one uh, with only with, uh, with id you can move around uh, because of the because of the language the problem here most all these countries they have different languages somalia sudan uh, ethiopia eritrea even some tigray tigray and there tigray there is also uh, uh, in ethiopia there is uh, in, within one country they so, have different languages and somalia that is the main challenge even in that even like uh, Tigray and 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 uh, and, uh, and Oromo and all they have different languages. The problem even you can you can marry this company together and you can integrate this country without one language. At least one language should come and solve the problem. Even equals in in in, East, in 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 the west of Africa. What is the language yeah, now? In Igat is English only. Now. In Igat, mm. it's not in English because of Italy there in 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 in, in Djibouti and, and and Somalia. It's not English even. There is no English there. Mm -hmm. Only maybe Ethiopia and Sudan maybe in that uh, because of that. Sure, but Sudan, but the rest of the country they doesn't have Kenya, Uganda also there Kenya, English. Uganda, English Sudan, Swahili also Swahili is a, is a language. But the majority they can speak because there is a lot of. But no there. Arabic. Only Sudan they speak Arabic. Um, they speak Arabic, but in Ethiopia there is a lot of community that speak Arabic. In Eritrea also even the president of Eritrea speak well Arabic. Uh, Asaisa Forgi is one of the good uh, speakers in Arabic, and part of the Ethiopia especially. The Muslims, the other in Islam, also they speak Arabic. So maybe it can be one of the one of one of the can be one of the of the solution. Maybe it can be one solution. But it needs a lot of time. It needs a lot of money. It needs a lot of uh, uh, potential. But the university is is, is capable. Yeah, can, yeah. can do. But Africa is doing a lot. Doing very good even. To Africans. Like, uh, Africa, even they have branches there in, in Uganda. Different, different they have, it, it has branches there in, in, in Uganda, and Tanzania, and, and, and in Kenya. Branches. Uh, yes, branches from Africa. In different disciplines. In different. Only like engineering, medicine, more. Yeah, it's just different uh, faculties there. It's not okay. only the maybe the Islamic. So faculty, the university Arab, is capable of doing. It's that. capable to do that. Uh, the African University is doing a lot. Of, by the way, if if it is concentrated on this Uganda uh, country, it can do something good. It, at least it can at least can just uh, held or or establish branches there in the seven countries there of uh, the the rest of the six countries there. It can do something there. I think so. Okay, Africa. okay, Doctor Yasser Ahmed, I think. We when we come, we came to the um, conclusion to the end and to wrap up to wrap up the igad uh, co conference in meeting in sudan were fruitful we hope uh, we'll benefit sudan will benefit from this and sudan will go speedy to the transformation to democratic rule after any settlement or an agreement thank you dear viewers for viewing with us in the last hour uh, we hope to see you next week in a different uh, issue. Bye.